Welcome to Lead to Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And as you can see, we got a new camera and um, see some more of the background. And uh, yeah, so I'm using the Kodak ZI8. The flip camera died last week, and we used the iPhone for a minute. And while the video quality of the iPhone wasn't horrible, um, problem is I use the iPhone for notes and I can't really, you know, do all that. So, um, and it's just, I want something better quality and if I take it out in the field, it's something I can put on a tripod like this. So that way Vinnie Crumbs doesn't have to hold the camera, especially when I record sommelier school today or tomorrow, he's not going to be able to hold it for 40, 30 minutes, whatever, as you do Portugal. Anyway, um, so I'm back with the new camera. And uh, so far the quality seems pretty good, but I haven't done much with it. And uh, this will be the first test of the editing and uh, first real test. I tested it and imported into Final Cut Express just fine. For those of you that have Final Cut Express, uh, you can use the ZI8. It directly imports. Uh, the last time I used this, I it somehow Final Cut didn't like the format, so I had to go to iMovie and then Trans. It was, it was kind of a hassle, but. I was pretty sure that that was all fixed. Anyway, hopefully the audio is pretty good here. Let's go ahead and get, let's uh, taste some wine. All right, so what we have here is the 2007 Albert Bichot Chablis. Uh, got it for $11.99 at Gabriel's. This, as far as I know, well, definitely as far as the show's concerned, the very first Chablis, we've had true Chablis, uh, not a uh, not just some unoaked Chardonnay, which we've had some really good ones, Passaggio wines. A um, little shout out there. But uh, this is my true, I think it's also just personally the first time I've had an actual wine from the Chablis area of France. So let's talk about Chablis real quick. Chablis is made from 100% Chardonnay. Uh, they do not use oak in the uh, aging and the fermentation of the Chardonnay. Um, and uh, so it will have a different style than the stereotypical California heavily oak Chardonnays uh, that people are used to with that buttery flavor. Um, so this is kind of where uh, my preference lies is uh, with the unoaked version and I like I said I don't think I've ever had a true Chablis. Now another thing to realize is that you may find these jug wines with the name Chablis on it but they're not they're not going to be, um, they're probably not going to be 100% Chardonnay and they're probably not going to be unoaked or, or uh, fermented in stainless steel. So uh, and these are the, the bulk wines that are sold by some of these California wineries that sell big you know, bulk wines. So do not confuse the two. All right, um, let's taste the wine and we'll talk about the winery for a little bit. All right, so you have more of a citrusy uh, aroma, bouquet to the nose, bouquet to the nose. You have more of a citrusy nose or bouquet uh, off this wine, then you're not gonna get that buttered popcorn type of deal, especially the toasted buttered popcorn that you may get from, from those types of Chardonnays. It's very clean. You have some citrus notes. Um, this is a this is Chardonnay that I would prefer, and I'm not saying I won't like the the typical uh, Chardonnay from California. That has its place, and I, I I've had some of it and I've I've enjoyed it. Um, you know, specifically, you know, everyone's the big name or or the bolt the, the one that the the winery that's made a lot KJ Chardonnay. Uh, everybody seems to have that. Almost every restaurant seems to have that. Um, but it's a different style of Chardonnay. So, like I said, off the nose, citrus notes, um, clean. So, 
So pretty decent. Nothing overwhelming, nothing spectacular. So uh, let's see how it tastes. So you're getting mostly citrusy type of, of flavors. I think they mentioned lime on their website, which I kind of get that. And that also could have been like they said it, I read it, and then I was looking to see if I find it type of deal. But it seems like there's a little bit of saltiness to it. Like a, like a C type thing, which I wouldn't expect this from this. I mean, definitely would not expect, um, I don't mean like true saltiness, but you get kind of a, a C type of thing. So maybe it's a, a grapefruit type of thing. There was a little bit of that, that tanginess. That's what I'm looking for, tanginess. Um, so you're getting this, the, the, the tanginess from, from citrus. So we're talking like lemons, limes, even grapefruit. Um, you're getting that, that little bit of tanginess from, from the wine. Uh, it's easy drinking. It's, it's not, there's not a huge amount of acid. It's also not very hot as far as um, alcohol, and it's only 12.5%, so that's good. And remember, I do drink this at whatever the temperature of the house is, which is probably right about 70 degrees. It's pleasant. But it's not, um, but, but you only get it for a very short period of time. As soon as you, as soon as you're done with it, I mean, as soon as you kind of get that taste, it just kind of falls off. So with that, I'd say, I mean, it's, it's not a bad wine. It's not horrible, but I would probably give it an 84 just because it just, it just kind of, it, you get that little bit of a peak and then it kind of goes and bam, it's like really it like fell off it like disappeared like it fell off the cliff like you know the the little price is right guy and went, that's what it was like anyway um 84 and there's a little bit of i mean i kind of taste a little bit of rubber it's not very pleasant a little bit of plastic rubbery type of stuff so that's about the only aftertaste. 84, yeah, I'll go with that. All right, so uh, real quickly about the winery. Uh, the estate's been around since 1350, or, or the, the family's been in, in Burgundy since 1350, but they didn't get into wine until 1831. Um, the chateau that they use is, um, let's see if there's anything different on here. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, so the chateau that they used to, to ferment and, and make the wine is Chateau Long de Pequot de, de Pequi. Um, all the sh all the Chardonnay grapes are grown within a 15 kilometer radius or about 50 kilometer radius of the town of Chablis in Burgundy, and they age the wine for six to eight months on lees or surlay or surly, um, which that means that's the dead yeast cells and it imparts some extra character to the wine instead of it just being fermented and just like nothing there. So that's it. Um, we're gonna wrap up. Just, uh, we're gonna do the little pitch. Just remember, as always, um, donate. This is 12 bucks. Most of the wine is around this or, or lower. So you got the donate buttons down here on PayPal. You can subscribe at $5 a month instead of two now. Um, and that will automatically stop after 12 months. Um, there's definitely ads on this. I don't think I'm gonna take the ads off. I, I was just a little frustrated with the ads. They apparently do get clicks, but I just haven't earned anything from it, which is no big deal. I'll just leave the ads on there. I think it would it would look pretty plain if I didn't have anything. Uh, I might remove some ads just because they're just kind of like, yeah, really. Um, but uh, anyway, so tell your friends about it. Friend me up on Facebook, Twitter, iTunes. 
If you're not watching this on the website, if you're watching this like on, on Daily Motion or on Blip.tv or AOL Video or Yahoo Video or should I keep running this or the Roku Box, um, any of these things, go to the website. Uh, you can click on the links. You can friend me up on all the sites everywhere I'm at. Uh, I've got all the things. I've got my little badge now for Facebook for the, for the wine side. I figured I might as well just throw it on there. Um, and iTunes. Like We actually had a little spike in iTunes subscriptions. I have a total of, besides me, seven people. That's because I don't push it. Um, hey, I only had three people until, uh, until a few days ago. So 200% increase about, yeah, almost 300% increase in, in iTunes subscriptions. So subscribe on iTunes. It's real convenient. You can watch it on your iPhone. It's awesome. That's going to do it. Uh, we'll see everybody again on Wednesday with another wine.